missing element. But the book says we must empty the vessel for the spirit to fill it. Your mother was mistaken. We must not add, but subtract. Find me some macerate while I prepare the mix. There has to be some around here. Macerate? What's that? Where will I find it? In the pharmacopoeia. The alcove of the curtain. On my way. Quieten down. Laurentius used to say, Calm the beating of your heart, for it is the wish of the heart the hands express. So calm yourself. The curtain, it's there. There are too many pots, Lucas. I don't know which ones are which. Find the one that really stinks. Everything stinks. I'm not sure my nose will be able to tell the difference. Oh, oh no. Uh, that is absolutely... Oh. They're going. They're coming back. They're regrouping. Put it right. Let's awaken this phoenix. Gently. Stop shaking. There's no time to waste any of it. They're coming back. Keep going! We're nearly there! I'm coming! Slight alteration in you. Good. Good, but not enough. You said you had to filter something out! So why are you still adding things? You have to add in order to subtract. The bridge, Yermesia! You have to clear away to the stills for me! All right, then. Let's get to those stills. about then please after you Lucas you did it we did it Laurentius would be proud of you I'm proud of you Thank you. At least we know for certain now. If the elixir is linked to the rats, that means there's a link to the carrier. Yes, but first things first. We have to save Hugo.
It's them! Our trainee alchemist has worked wonders. We have the elixir. I always knew you were a good one. Uh, thanks. Come on. Let's go see Hugo. Hugo! You're not sleeping? Hey, look! We did it! The elixir! Lucas made it! Here you go. It might be a little bitter. Never mind. Drink it in one gulp. Very good. So, am I cured now? Um, well... In any case, you'll soon be a lot better. Amicia? Will we never see Mummy again? Oh, Hugo. I told you. She... She won't be coming back. No. And it, and it doesn't hurt where she is? No, no, of course not. Let's all go to bed now, eh? And tomorrow, when you wake up, you'll feel a lot better. You'll see. You won't believe it! Roderick beats Arthur at the sling! That's not true! He was in front of the line! <laughs> You're just rubbish! <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh! If you don't play by the rules... You're gonna tell me... Hugo! ...about rules! I keep telling you! Have you seen Hugo? Gently now, gently. Don't stop. Go on. You go. Where can he have gone? Think, Amicia. Think. Is that a, a, a village? Here? Hey! Wait! Did anyone see a child come through here? Please! Oh, Amicia! Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Oh, Lovey? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, 
A child never runs away without a reason. Open the door! I'm going to find him! All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way. What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I have been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even... horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go, and pray there is still time. Mama, I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Mother? Amicia, come here. Yes, mother. Your brother's here. How is he? If he's back, it's because he's not very well. But I did everything. You hid the truth from him. But... His emotions, Amicia. I warned you. Let me see him. He doesn't want to see you. Who are you talking to, Mommy? I have to see him! He doesn't need you anymore. That's a lie! <sighs> Go on, then. See for yourself. Knight's figurine. One of his toys. Hugo, are you all right? No. What's the matter? Why did you leave? Why didn't you tell me Mummy was alive? It was for your own good, Hugo. That's not true. You didn't want me to know. Don't say that. You're jealous. Jealous. Let go of me. Hugo, no! you, did they? No. But why did you go off like that? I heard Mummy. She was calling me. It must have been a nightmare, that's all. I really thought it was her. She was in pain, and... She can't feel pain where she is now. We talked about this. But... She's gone, Hugo. You have to accept it. Let's go back. All right. We must get back to the castle. <laughs> Amicia, it's mommy! What? It's coming from over there! We have to go! No, you're not going! But why? Let go of me! Hugo! I'm coming, mommy! Come back! Mommy, where are you? No, Hugo! There, she's in there!
let's go. It is done. Can I go and see my mother now? Only the Grand Inquisitor may say. But you told me. My words are of no importance. Only those of the Grand Inquisitor. But be sure, you are very precious to him indeed. Sangri's duty. When's it gonna end, eh? People. The hour of the conjuration approaches. But think of Vitalis. Your ordeal is nothing compared to his. Breaking you, I clear your way. The way to the blood of the Chosen One. Gone. The quality is excellent, but the mass of raw episanguis is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. The body of the Grand Inquisitor is overwhelmed by the fight. I fear it will now attack his mind. Don't worry. The boy's blood will restore the power's equilibrium. May his soul emerge unscathed. At Kevin. At Luna. Necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. Twenty pounds. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so, because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already hey. a miracle. Not afraid. Not afraid. The city during the conjuration. You on the protects list? Him. Yeah, 
I'll be on the square in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. I'll be stuck here. We'll all meet again afterwards. The end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I am the Archbishop. I represent the Pope. Monseigneur, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor. <laughs> My head. Sh shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I see here. Me? Where are you? And you? You all follow him on this infernal road. Measure your words, Excellency. Your rank should make you conscious. No, he mustn't see me. Magister, the text clearly mentions the ascension of a child during the Great Plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. By freeing Continue. the country from the bite, the Grand Inquisitor gained the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Prima Macula. The is <laughs> On the cusp of the first no. threshold, devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave. Order or chaos. Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. Monsieur, About... Monsieur, I found Mummy. Mummy. She's in the basement, they said. I have to keep going down. Grand Inquisitor, the Archbishop has arrived. Perfect. Bring him in. Vitalis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey went well. You'll spare me your niceties. We grow tired of your little game, Vitalis. A game, Archbishop? <laughs> Can a game change the future of the world? Listen to yourself. You have completely lost your mind. And all this is... If I may, it's important. We have the blood of Hugo de Hun. Have you tested it? Yes. Alas, Monseigneur. The boy should have reached the first threshold already, but it seems something in his blood has slowed the process. The macula is still in its original state. No matter. If the books are correct, my blood and his will be bound. When he reaches the next threshold, I shall reach it with him. Proceed.
That's enough. You play the martyr. But allow me to tell you the truth. You are a vile heretic driven mad by power. The Pope considers you a threat. Vitalis Benevon, you are to be excommunicated. <sighs> One can excommunicate a man, Archbishop. <laughs> but not a saint. Your inquisition is over. Meaning that a new era commences. One where puppets such as yourself will kneel and beg me to save them. He is with us. Very good. Go and see whether Beatrice Doreen has regained consciousness. He's scary, but I have to follow him. Why does she keep resisting like that? We have the same goal. Both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. Her daughter is making the same error. <sighs> Station! But the brother, he is unique. He might understand. Unique? I'm unique. Ad ease. Ad ignem. Ad lucem, sir. So, you saw the Grand Inquisitor? Yes. The blood of the carrier flows through his veins. The conjuration will take place. Splendid. The end of the plague is nigh. Indeed. But do not lower your guard. As I was telling you, this guard was devoured, but not completely. His bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? 
To incorporate them into that material we find everywhere. You mean their nests? They use our dead to build their nests. Precisely. And if we do nothing, at the rate the dead are accumulating, the nests will eventually join together to form one giant. Lord Nicholas go past. That the rune woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Huh. Serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh no, she's way too stubborn. But no match for our torch. 